Hey guys, and welcome back. Alright, so for today I'm going to be reviewing the Sand Wraith, which was just introduced into the game. Um, I believe he's going to be the next Rebirth, replacing Bulby in a couple of days. So let's go ahead and check him out. Um, Design-wise, he looks like something off Minecraft he's with Knack, but honestly, I do like the second version. I really like how, um, how would I say it? I really like how blocky he is, but at the same time, I do like his comparison to other mons of how um, different he looks. He definitely looks a lot different than other mons, which is pretty cool that they're adding in mons that aren't necessarily ones that you would think of or think they would come up with. So I definitely like his um, different design. He looks like a monster off of a different um, mobile game, but I, I, I can't I can't name the game off itself. But let's check out his stats real quick. Defender. Um, his his defense is pretty good to be a nat three. Like his defense is pretty pretty darn solid, and he has attack down and expose weakness. Now I don't know if he's gonna have skill books or not, but sixty percent attack down in my opinion is a bit low. It is a bit low. Um, seventy percent chance for exposed weakness is pretty good. So if he does have skill books and we can get his attack down to maybe 80% and hopefully expose weakness to 80%, then he's pretty much just a Titans Mon. Um, there's no other place I would think about using this dude at other than Titans because attack down and expose weakness are purely just um, for Titans. But let's go ahead and check out the water one next. And of course the gem sets I'll include in a video as I go you guys know how I do it and there's a water one. Oh, the variant water ones nice yeah that's a very nice distinguish yeah I think the second one's my my favorite I, I just like the second one but um it's balance type um stats are pretty pretty awful Stats are horrible. Unflinching Strike and Vengeance. So he is crit based for his Unflinching Strike. And then he has Vengeance. I'm not really sure how well that's going to scale. Like I said before, unless they have skill books. Because Unflinching Strike is like a great value um, Courageous Striker. And him being Critical Hit Reliant is a bummer. Because he's not even an attacker, so I don't imagine his crazy strike, well, his unflinching strike being that much in vengeance for his five star skill is just very, very weird. I'm not sure how he would benefit from that, so honestly, I probably would not recommend building him. Um, his stats are just too low, and the vengeance part just makes it very, very weird. Very weird, considering he's a balance type and his. Yeah, his stats are just, no. I mean, I understand what they were going for, but it just doesn't work. At least, not to my favor. If you want to build them for the gems, man, go go right ahead. I ain't going to stop you. I'm not going to stop you. Let's go over here to the grass one. Okay, I like the grass one variant as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, let's go to the small one. Oh, no. That, that grass one? That second, that Evo 2, oh, I might have to get me one just to have one because he looks freaking cool. I don't care what you guys say. He looks, he looks dope. Um, decent HP. Other than that, that's pretty much it, but he is a tank and he has double seal on his turn. So, um, not really sure where you would fit this one in at either because you can use seal in PvP, but I mean, you would definitely want a mon with better stats in PvP. Um, you could potentially use him in clan versus clan if you need somebody that can just be annoying and steal the crap out of the other team and just tank some blows. But other than that, um, he doesn't really have any use with his double seal. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't really 
find a spot that's worthy of you sacrificing a whole bunch of mons for to use seal other than clan versus clan um seal is useless in titans um i think it is usable in some parts of colossus but i think it's at the users parts so and not where S not where you would want seal to work at so the grass one again is a bummer but i will say that hopefully i can pick up a variant one and at least get him to evo 2 because i'm just going to keep him because the dude's just straight aesthetic when he's variant Let's go over here to the light one. Okay, okay. Light one's not bad, your typical... I like that one too. He looks like something off like Legend of Zelda. Um, he's a tank type. Slightly more HP, like what, 4k more HP than the grass one and slightly more attack pretty much. And blind and unflinching strike. So he'll be he'll be pretty easy to get his unflinching strike up to um up to 100% for his critical hits because uh, light mons naturally have 20% um crit rate. But what would make him amazing would be if this was actually courageous strike and not unflinching strike. Like I feel like 433 is kind of a bit scared. Of adding in some nat more nat four uh, courageous strikers because that really makes him a bummer. I mean, blind, blind isn't really that good to be honest. But mons like um, fire verde or uh, wood Thor are always great because you know you take blind, but their courageous strike makes up for it more than anything. Um, the only bad part is that inflicting strike doesn't scale as well as courageous strike. So, I mean, he could work as a pseudo uh, sea striker, even though he's a tank. But he's not going to do as much as even if he was just a tank or probably maybe even a balanced type because his attack's just not high enough. So, I mean, you could grab one if you want. Um, I may grab one and get him to Evo 2 and just test him out in Titans just to test him out. But I don't really have any hope of him doing anything amazing and we have the attacker one the dark oh that dark dude that dark is clean oh my goodness that yeah I mean he kind of sucks move wise but my boys this dude this dude looks way cooler than good old Bobby over here way cooler look at that my boys look at that look at that look at that variant action I'm gonna need to get all variants of them. So if you see like a variant uh, Clay Revenant team, then that's probably your boy. But uh, SP Siphon and Persevere, um, nope, nope. I mean, wh what am I gonna? What are you gonna do with that? Let's take a look at his stats at level 60. Very good attack. Very good attack for Nat Four, but SP Siphon. I mean, you can use it in PvP, but what pvp match do you want be taking do you want to take up 10 turns for him to he hit his max potential you know what i mean and uh, uh, sp siphon in um titans ain't gonna do nothing for you so i mean he is more pvp based but these skills just don't work out these skills just don't work out i mean his design's okay but overall in terms of utility he's probably equal or slightly worse than Bulby in that field but I will I will give it to him I do like his design I do like that Evo 2 variant design but that pretty much sums up the video you guys um I hope this gives you guys some type of direction on what you want to do with these guys um I'll grab a couple Evo 2 variants at the very least see what I can get the Evo 3 and probably never use any of them other than just to be aesthetic but that pretty much sums up the video you guys and as always Thanks for watching uh, and peace out.